With it being the original release date for Jedi Survivor, we knew they had to do something big, and something big they have announced, at least. So let's talk about it. Today on all of the major Star Wars gaming pages, including EA Star Wars, Lucasfilms Games, and Star Wars Directly, they all posted about the release of a new trailer for Jedi Survivor happening on March 20th, this upcoming Monday. This trailer is going to be the story trailer for the game. While we've gotten a lot of cool combat trailers and IGN's coverage helped us understand the scope of the worlds we'll be able to explore, this will probably be the first one to give us a solid look and understanding of what the story in this game is going to be about. For reference, back in 2019 when the trailers were being released for Jedi Fallen Order, it wasn't until the story trailer that you actually learned what the game was going to be about. We've had some possible hints with the Senator from the reveal trailer and the potential High Republic Jedi in the back to tank, but that doesn't mean that those will be central parts of the story necessarily. If you remember the original advertisements for Jedi Fallen Order, we got a lot of shots from Bracca, which in the original game we only stayed on for the tutorial. It did introduce Trilla and the Mantis crew briefly though, so we can't write off everything that we've seen so far. We also got a major trailer surrounding Saw Gerrera, who did have a role in the game, but it was minor. We also received a lot of gameplay surrounding Kashyyyk, and in the same way that we're getting most of our gameplay from Kobo, while well, it's only one planet for many that we got to explore. All of this to say, it wasn't until the story trailer that we finally knew what the game was going to be about, so this trailer on Monday is going to be a major one for people who love the story aspect of gameplay the most. I do have some speculations on what I hope we'll be seeing in this trailer, but if they're doing the same thing they did in the advertising for Jedi Fallen Order, we'll be in for a big 180 on what we've been speculating the game's story to be about. We know from some of the breakdowns of the game on websites such as GameStop and Walmart that the game is supposed to be about reuniting the Mantis crew, supposedly. And so if they were going to finally show us Grease and Marin, this would be the trailer. I speculated in a previous video that the reason we had yet to see them was because of the novel Jedi Battle Scars that came out on March 7th and them not wanting to ruin parts of the plot. But now that the book has been out for more than a week, I believe they might be willing to give them their time in the spotlight, or at least confirm that they'll be in the game. I know I'm personally hoping to see Marin so I can start planning out future cosplay for her and just know that she's alright. I'd also love to see some blaster gameplay, but while this is the story trailer and we've already gotten most of the gameplay trailers we'll be seeing before game release, I doubt we'll see it before April. Other than that, I don't want to speculate too much, since I think they've done a really good job of keeping what I think will be the main story hidden from us, up to this point. While the Back to Tank Jedi could be a major antagonist, it's also possible that he'll be small potatoes in the long run, as well as the Gendai. No matter what this trailer brings on Monday, I'm excited to see what the game devs have planned for us as gamers and have planned for the Mantis crew on their adventures. Only time will tell. The only thing I do know for certain is that I will be posting a live reaction video to the trailer here on the channel after it drops if you want to see how I react to it, as well as posting some more in-depth looks at it afterwards. If you want to keep up to date with Jedi Survivor news and other gaming content, feel free to subscribe below. And as always, thank you for watching. May the Force be with you. Goodbye!